for the most part. I've been in here in Columbia, you know, using my resources to work out the best of my advantage. Ned, obviously you came into Columbia with the reputation of being a really good blocking tight end, but the last few games this past season you really showed off your receiving skills. How much do you think that helped you in terms of how scouts will evaluate you heading into the draft process? Yeah, I think it helped me a ton. Um, you know, even if I didn't have those games down the stretch, I think I've showed that, you know, in my past years at ETSU that I can catch the ball clean. Um, I can catch the ball, I can run with it, I can get first downs. Um, those those last three games definitely helped me out a lot in, the, in this whole process. But, you know, I think... Uh, just the things that I've done, you know, like I kind of do the dirty work and I kind of, you know, pride myself on that kind of that kind of role as a tight end. Um, and then, you know, those last three games kind of just helped me out a little bit with, you know, catching the ball, getting first down and helping the team in any way I can. And obviously you got nicked up a little bit in the ball game. How are you feeling after that? I'm perfectly fine. You know, it's, it's just a, you know, a long few weeks of practice, you know, kind of being the only tight end. Uh, you know, I kind of went in that game feeling as fresh as I could, you know, through three weeks of basically being the only tight end. You know, we had Wyatt and Twitty, they helped us out a little bit, but the only true tight end, you know, the practice kind of wore me out. And then it was that very last play where I ran over that guy and hit the ground and, you know, it was kind of got banged up, but it is what it is. How frustrating was that in the moment that I, I imagine? Yeah, I was trying to, I was definitely trying to finish things out, but, you know, the trainers kind of held me back, which is definitely the right thing to do. But, you know, it was definitely it was definitely hurting me personally because you know I think we were rolling. I don't want to sit, sound like selfish or anything, but like I think we were rolling with me in there with you know, just the ability to run the ball with me in the game as well as you know kind of being a pass threat. Um, you know I think we were rolling pretty good, and then you know, when I kind of got banged up, it was kind of unfortunate that you know, things kind of went down. But it is what it is. So this, this last year kind of rejuvenated you. You said you were thinking about maybe this would have been like, just come here and play and then maybe go on whatever. I mean. I, I had expectations and I have goals of, you know, playing in the NFL, but, you know, I kind of came into this year with, you know, just, it might be my last year, it might not be, and I was playing it like it could be my last year, and I think it ended up paying off, you know, just kind of having that last year mentality. You know, I played as hard as I could. I played through a lot of injury throughout the year. Um, you know, I think I helped myself, you know, prove that I can play at the next level. How, how satisfying was it to be able to have this day to kind of put a bow on? Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very glad it's over because it's been a very stressful past like 10 weeks and especially this morning oh, oh my gosh like you know I knew I had trained really hard and I was ready for this day but you never know like just coming into the day the, the, you know, the anxiety of it all the stressfulness you know the interviews um, and then just showing up and just having to do it all it's very stressful on me yeah. but you know I'm glad it's over with I, I think I had a pretty good day and uh, hopefully something happens in the future how many how many times did you do 225 I did 14 times. I was literally one inch away from 15. I was, I was pretty pissed off at myself. But it is what it is. My right arm let me down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just that versatility, and I'm sure they apologize for moving to the center. Yeah. Really asked, but being able to play that tight end, fullback position as well as special teams, you know, how, how much value do you feel like you can bring to you? Yeah, I was talking to them. Uh, you know, I think I, I showed, you know, through the first half of the season that, you know, I can do the dirty work. I can come in, you know, kind of be a guy that, isn't really involved in the pass game, which I'm fine with. I can I can show up, I can do anything that you want me to. I can play all four phases. I know I didn't show it um, this past season. I'm playing all four phases of special teams, but you know, I played punt, I played kickoff return, um, and I think I did that really well. And then you know, towards the end of the season, you know, I showed that I can I can catch the ball, I can make plays, I can get first downs for teams. So you know, I think it you know the whole body of work of this past season helped me out going uh, going forward in the future. Is it a safe assumption to say that maybe compared to some of the other tight ends, you might have a, a higher knowledge when it comes to just blocking because uh, of you know your father and, and being a, a yeah. coach's son? Yeah, he's definitely helped me out a lot, but you know he's also just been a dad throughout this whole process. You know he hasn't really pushed me in any sort of way or put pressure on me in any sort of way. You know, especially coming into the day, he's like, you know, you've, you've been training this whole time after the bowl game, like you've been training your butt off. Um, just go out there and have fun and just do what you do. And I think I did that today. And, uh, you know, he's definitely helped me out a lot throughout this process. When did you really truly believe that this was a realistic possibility, right? We all have these dreams as kids. We all have this dream when we go to college. Your journey a little bit different yeah. in terms of getting to this point. For sure. Was it maybe last year when you got here? Or was it, you know, when did, it, did you really truly believe that this could really happen? Honestly, like, those last three games, you know, I showed that I could catch the ball, um, make plays with the ball, um, you know, Coming into this season, I told them, I was like, you know, I kind of came into this year, you know, with a, it was, this might be my last year of football mentality. And, uh, you know, I think I played through 
showed a lot of, uh, played through a lot of adversity. I had a lot of injury through going throughout the, throughout the season. But um, you know, I think it was those last few games where I showed that I can, you know, I'm capable of making plays with the balls in my, with the ball in my hand. And uh, 